the Great Barrier Reef. Dream destination for many, source of income for others. Exploited, protected. The center of a crisis. For the sixth time in a row. Shallow water coral reefs are mostly found at temperatures of 18 degrees of Celsius and upwards. Corals are mostly animals that like it warm, but not too warm. And that might become their undoing. For the probability of thermal stress rises when temperatures are elevated at least one degree over the ordinary for at least a month. And that is when bleaching happens. The longer bleaching events last, and the more often they get repeated, the higher the mortality rate of the corals. Apart from that, mortality rates can also be influenced by factors like shadow, upwelling, resistance or tolerance. But overall, heat waves lasting all summer long are more often than not going to cause severe bleaching events. Recovery of damaged reefs probably takes about 10 to 40 years. But the Great Barrier Reef only takes more and more damage, year after year. This year, 91% of all 719 surveyed individual reefs of the Great Barrier Reef were affected by at least some degree of bleaching. When heat waves soften over the next six to eight months and water temperatures cool down, surviving bleached corals can regain their color. Only then do we know the mortality rate for this year's bleaching event. Lasting damage, on the other hand, is for sure, and with it, potentially disastrous consequences in the foreseeable future. Thanks for watching.